Hello everyone, my name is Nuren Bin Juruslin and my matrix number is BB2211250. Today, I will present for part 1. As we can see here, this is the data that I get from the calculations. First of all, we need to find the frequency. So, we need to divide the airlines into some class to find the frequency. After that, we need to find the relative frequency. So, this is the formula that I use to find it. Class frequency divided by total number of observations. For example, 22 divided by 24 equals 0 0.92. So this is the relative frequency for the domestic, 0 up to 2 millions. After that, we will find the cumulative relative frequency. So this is the data of relative frequency and cumulative relative frequency for the domestic. And this is the data for the international. This is the table that show relative frequency for domestic and international as well as histogram relative frequency. Graph show that the relative frequency for domestic is decreased until class 2 million up to 4 million. For the international, the relative frequency is also decreased until class 2 million up to 4 million, but after class 6 million up to 8 million, it increased. So this is the table that shows the data of the cumulative relative frequency for domestic and international. As we can see here, the OGIF show that domestic is increased until class 4 million and stay maintained after that. And for the international, it also increased until class 4 million and stay maintained after that. But after class 8 million, it increased again. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Fung Chung Chung Izwan. My metric number is BB2211285. I will continue to present about the calculate and compare pension central location in each data set. The central location include mean, median, mode and mid range. First and foremost, we need to find the mean, specifically sample mean. Mean is calculated by taking all the values in the set and dividing them by the total number of value in the set for domestic and international. After the calculation has been done, the domestic airline shows that 642,696.554, while the international 740,362.38. Right, the next one, we need to find the median for the data set domestic and the international airline. Median is the number that is in the middle of a data set that is organized from the lowest to the highest or from the highest to the lowest. The median does not represent a true average but this does not as greatly affected by the presence of outliers and is the mean. The formula is n plus 1 divided by 2. After the calculation has been done, we can find out that the median for the domestic airline is 217,716, while the international airline is 137,048.50. In the next one, we need to find the mode for the data set. The mode is the number that repeats the most often in the data set, and it is seldom used in the statistic as a reliable measure of center. After analyzing each of the data set based on the data shown, there is no mode to be found since all of the number does not repeat. And last but not least, we need to find the mid-range for the data set. The mid-range is calculated by adding the highest and the lowest value of a data set together and dividing the sum by 2. The mid-range is hardly ever used as a measure to find the center. After the calculation for the mid-range has been done, we can find out that the mid-range for the domestic airline is 2,153,246.50, while the international airline is 4,430,839.50. Thank you. Assalamualaikum, hello everyone. My name is Muhammad Afiq Ikramizad. I'm gonna present on part 3. First of all, these are the results after the data has been sorted in ascending order. We need to identify the quarter of the data in order to match the end result of the percentile's calculation. First step, we are going to find the location of the percentile for Q1 equal to P25, Q2 equal to P50, and Q3 equal to P75. The formula would be LP equal to P per 100 multiplied by N plus 1. These are the results for the location of the percentiles for P25, P50, and P75. From the result, we know that all of these are non-integers. This is the calculation of percentiles for domestic which are P25 equal to 141202, P50 equal to 217716, and P75 equal to 67687.5. This is the calculation of percentiles for international which are P25 equal to 73787, P50 equal to 137048.5, and P75 equal to 165069.5. This is the calculation of outliers for domestic and international which the outliers for domestic is negative 662306.75 and 148038.3.25. The outliers for the international is negative 13136.75 and 271993.25. This is the information to construct the box plot for both domestic and international. And the last one is box plot for domestic, also box plot for international. That's all from me. Thank you. Hello, 
I am Veronica Ubuk at Anthony with matrix number PB2110906. Today, I will be presenting diversions between domestic and internationals. There will be four measurements for diversions. The first one was range. The second one was mean absolute deviations. The third one was variance and standard deviations, but will be highlighted at standard deviations. Lastly was the coefficients of variations. Firstly, range. Range can be calculated between the difference between the maximum value and minimum value from the domestic and international passenger traffic. Our group indicates that domestic was the lowest in passenger's value than the international, where domestic indicates 4,231,869 passenger traffic and 8,000,000. 755,805 passenger traffic for international. The next one was the mean absolute deviations. The formula to calculate MRD was the sum of the observations minus the mean sample divided by the sample size and the answer must be positive. Thus, our group got these answers where domestic is the lowest in mean absolute deviations at 609,000 485.77 passenger traffic and the international was the highest at 1,050,281.99 passenger traffic. Next was the variance and standard deviations. Well, in this measurement, we will be highlighted at the standard deviations for our final answer. For variance, we got the answer by using this formula where the sums of the observation minus by the mean sample, power up by 2, and we minus the sample size with 1. So we got this answer. So as we highlighted the standard deviations, the answer that we got from the variance, we will be square root it. And this is our group answer, where we found out that domestic is the lowest in standard deviations at 987,952.88 passengers traffic. And international was the highest at 1,940,297.63 passenger traffic. Lastly, D is coefficients of variance that being calculated by standard deviations divided by the mean sample and show that domestic is 1.54 lowest at 1.08 than international at 2.62. To conclude, international value for diversion is the highest than domestic passengers traffic. Thus, it indicates that international traffic of all airlines in Asia Pacific regions are highly demanded. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nurul Aydana Bila Binti Juari. My metric number is BB2210190 and I will present part 5 which is calculate and interpret measure of association. As you can see, on the table that I have arranged the data uh, because easy for me to calculate the data. I arrange from the small number to large number for each domestic and international data. And as you can see also, I use covariance formula to calculate the data. And the total answer will divide with n minus 1, which is 24 minus 1. And we'll get the final answer. Like 423 uh, divide with 24 minus 1. And I will get 18419237480000. So that is the final answer for the covariance. Okay, next, for the correlation formula, I just take from the covariance final answer. Then I divide with the standard deviation, which I get from part 4. So the final answer will be uh, 0.960875372. So that's all for me. Thank you.